Victoria's Secret look from one of their holiday catalogs. So it's a neutral eye with kind of like a dramatic liner around the lash line and kind of semi-dramatic around the outer corner. Peachy pink cheeks and very glossy lips. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with priming my lid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance and Lemon Drop. Now in this picture, the inner corners are very light and bright, so I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and I'm just going to place that all around that tear duct area. And then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. And for my inner corner, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. This is a Shimmer Wash in Bone. I'm going to take that on my e.l.f. defining brush. And then for the lid, I'm going to use Bobbi Brown Beige. And this is another Shimmer Wash. And I'm going to take that on my Sephora, let's see, this is an Angle Shadow Brush, number 20. And I'm just going to lay this down as like an all-over wash. I'm also going to take my Essence of Beauty small crease brush and I'm going to take a little of that beige and run it along my lower lash line. Next I'm going to take Bobbi Brown Taupe and I'm going to take that same Sephora angle brush and I'm just going to wipe that off and get some of this taupe. I'm just going to lay that right down on the lid. And I'm bringing this all over the lid, up into the crease, and stopping. And then at the outer portion of my eye, I am going to bring it up just above the crease. Just kind of give that lifted shape. Now I need a little more definition at the lash line, so I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Smoke and this is a matte eyeshadow. And I'm going to take that on my MAC 239 brush. And I'm just going to place this right along the lash line. Keeping it fairly close to the lashes. So once I have my lash line darkened up, I am going to take a little more of that smoke and kind of create a bit of a kind of an angle going up this way because a lot of the drama in this picture is kind of out at the outer portion of the eye. Okay, now for brow highlight, I'm going to take that Bobbi Brown Bone on the same e.l.f. defining brush just a little bit and just get a little highlight going on up there. I'm going to wipe off that brush and then blend it out a little. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Gel Liner and this is in Espresso Ink and it's just a really kind of inky dark brown. And I'm going to take that on my MAC 208 brush. Next, I want to intensify right around my lash line, so I'm going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in Bourbon, and I'm going to use this on my waterline and tight line. I'm also going to dot that pencil right into the lash roots, just to kind of intensify it a bit more. And for mascara, I'm using Yves Saint Laurent Photo Sills. Now you could leave the look just like this, but in the picture it looks like she's wearing lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and apply Ardell 120 Demi, and I will be right back. Okay, so for the hair, um, her hair is very tousled and kind of like windblown looking. So um, 
I just used my Sultra the Bombshell conical iron and just kind of ran that through my hair, like the lower ends, just to give it more of a, I don't know, kind of fluffy, tousled look. Um, okay, and then for face, let's see, she's very highlighted. Um, first I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer, then I'll go back in with the highlight. So I'm going to use my NARS Laguna, and I'm going to take that on my MAC 168 brush. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to do very much contouring because it looks like she kind of just has a little bit of bronzer towards the back here. And it's really light. And it does kind of go up onto the cheeks a little. Okay, and then for blush, actually I'm going to do highlight next. So I'm going to use NARS Multiple in Copacabana. And I'm going to hit tops of my cheekbones. I'm going to hit right down the bridge of my nose. I don't like to do too much um, highlight like all over my face because I don't want to be too shiny. Um, so we're just going to leave it kind of wearable. And then for blush, I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush and this is in Blissful. And it's a beautiful kind of like, kind of like a peachy coral, almost like peachy coral pink. Um, so that kind of looks like the color that she's wearing. So I'm going to take that on my Essence of Beauty powder brush. I just want a little bit of this. So she doesn't have very much on, so I think that's a pretty good match. Okay, and now for lips. Um, let's see. In the picture it looks like she's just wearing a lip gloss, but I like a little bit more than that. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little lipstick and liner. So I'm going to use my Too Faced Perfect Lips. And, ooh, boy, I need to sharpen that. Hold on one sec. Okay. And then for lipstick, I'm going to use MAC Fabi. And then I will use a gloss over this because her lips are pretty glossy. So I'm going to use Lancome and this is in Hotness. Okay, so that is the complete look. Um, oh, I didn't mention what foundation I'm wearing. I am wearing my Chanel Perfection Lumiere and I'm in 30 Beige. And then for concealer, I'm not wearing any concealer on my face, just under my eyes, which I'm using my Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in Natural. Okay, so here is the final look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Victoria's Secret look. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon.